Hello my fellow idiots and welcome to part 2 of the Docker mini-series. Now, last episode I showed you how to install Docker on immediately on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, but there'll be annotations and whatnot out the wazoo for the video. We've got, we downloaded installed GuideBot, we've just installed the GuideBot on to the Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do a quick test, see if the bot is still working. And uh, no. Mon. And if the bot is still working, then we'll move on to the next one. So we need Superbot to come online. Come on, Superbot. E Superbot's come online, so do ping. Alright. Now let's just cancel that. Okay. Alright. Now let's move on to making the container. Right, we're in the bots directory, so we need to do docker build t tutorial bot dot. Now, I'm prefixing that with this, that this could take a while. Uh, when Nomzy first introduced me to this guide, I ran it on my PC, and it took forever. Uh, but with my PC, I've got like 8 gigs of RAM, a uh, quad core uh, processor, but the Raspberry Pi has significantly less power. So this might take a while. If it does, we'll be having a jump cut, and I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, we are back. We have built the container. Uh, all seven steps, and if I was to scroll up... Yeah, this is what took so long. Yeah. That's it. This is what took so long. Okay, now... We've got that, we've built it, now we want to run the container. Uh, but, we want to see if the, the container's there. So, docker images. That will pull up all of the images that is on your docker. So we've got tutorial bot and we have the Raspberry Pi node. So, we to launch it, we do docker run minus d uh, tutorial bot now if that runs superbot should come online any second see it is now online ping help 
So yeah, what's my level? I'm permission level four. But if I go to my main account and do my level, I'm level ten. See, that is working beautifully. Now, if we want to get the container ID, which is what you'll need to, if you want to delete the container, is docker ps. So let me widen this a bit more and rerun the command. There you go. Uh, that's the container ID, that is what you'll need if you want to stop the container. But we want to have a look at the logs. Uh, so we could do one of two ways, uh, docker logs, and we need the container's ID. And you know, there's the console log, you know, uh, when I ran, where is it? Ping, is the help, is the my level, is the then my main account running that. So yeah, that's working, but you can go into the actual container itself. So if we do docker execute it with the container ID bin bash, we are now officially in the directory, well, the container for the bot. However, there could be a potential problem with updating the bot because you would potentially have to rebuild the Docker file. But I think, if we just quickly jump on the here, I think if we were to do a GitHub update command like that, uh, basically it'll download the modified source code from its re GitHub repository, apply the file changes, and then reboot the bot. I think that would work. Uh, I might do that in a follow-up tutorial. Uh, let me just grab my notes. I need to go. F I need to find Nomzy again because he's got my notes. Nom, not not mom. Noms. All right. Okay. Now we need. If we want to remove the container, we'll get to that in a minute. But we let's start off by stopping the container. We can either use stop or kill. So let's container. Okay, that did not work. Hmm. Docker images. Do I need the image ID? Uh, Docker. Let's try kill first. Apparently, there's no such container. Oh wait, no, that's... Wait, is that a... Is there a container ID? Oh, wait, no. Uh, Docker PS. Container ID, okay. So... No, such is asking for a container. Oh, alright, alright, alright. Docker kill. And again, let's do that. Alright. Oh, now let's do shush. Do that. Right, we have no container there. Right. So we've stopped the container. Now uh, with the container gone, we want if we want to remove the container, uh, not the container, the image, do Docker RMI, which is remove image, and we need the image ID. However, you can't remove that particular one, but if you run into stuff like that, 
you can false it, and it removes everything. So if we do Doctor Images again, it only shows the one. Now, I will say this, there is a lot more information I can give you, but I don't want to drown you in it. Uh, now, if you guys really like this episode, because this one's roughly about 20 minutes, uh, but there's going to be a lot of editing. Uh, but if you guys liked this episode, if you like the series, there's a lot more that Nomsy covers in his written guide that I would happily cover if this series was wanted. So let me know if you want more of this by hit, by smashing the thumbs up button. If you love the episode, guys, and you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you guys really love my content and you want to sub support me, there'll be a link to Patreon in the description and on the end slate. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.